Hello everybody, welcome to my first and maybe only match of the Blitzpit Qualifiers 2 up against Bright, who's a very good player. He's got Glart Smashrip Jr, who is a strength 4 claw guy. He's got a mighty blow claw storm vermin. He's got three gutters, he's got a bunch of wrestle, two two mighty blows. Um, so yeah, this is very scary. I am not looking forward to this game at all. <laughs> uh, got some guard and dwarves. So yeah, let's go. Find me is here to do the commentary so I can concentrate. Thank you so much, Find me. Yes. Uh, Hello, everybody. Don't forget to turn off the animations, Jamie. Thank you. Here we are, Mr. Bright, with a very tight uh, scaven team. Very well thought. Having Lark is uh, really, really well thought. But the team has a big weakness. It only has one uh, ball carrier. The blotch uh, rat got the runner. The others have guard and the other has wrestle, so it's like complicated. Here we go. And the rats probably will choose to defend. They have the, you know, the one turner, turn eight. This is Blitz Pitch format, so it's one minute turns. Resurrection format. Keep your team intact after every game. There's many people to kill. And here we go. Oh no! The rats are on the fence, probably trying to get some uh, hits with the claws. Here we go, lads. The reason why the animations uh, must be off is because they take time from your turn. And when you have one minute, the animations can take it. You know, you have a very good turn. Suddenly, the turn ends. Twelve players for Mr. Bright. Three got the runners. Apple. Uh, oh. Well, the turn of the rat is going to be very clear. Blitz Lark. Hello, it's hits with claw. Mighty blow. Oh, oh, this could be it. Wrestle a hit. Into an armor break. So, okay, okay, nothing dead yet. Lark will go for the long beard there and run away. Oh, incredible. Jim is going to be able to play with 11 players. Never seen before. The fourth turn is going to be basically base. Parsh push there.
Mighty Blow, Dorf, Little Exposer. Think he's gonna eat a Blitz? Yes. There you go, Mighty Blow, Claw, Heat coming. The Pow, Bad Clench. Okay, Armor Break can live with that. Trying to get a second hit there with the line rat. The pow. Jesus Christ, the, 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 the linemen have the ultra mighty blow. A three plus dodge failed by Skeven Coach. What is this? Never seen this ever happen in my life. Wrestle doing a thing. I think uh, Mr. Bright is just waiting to see what happens, protecting uh, his valuable players in one side and having Grar in the other side. To just have that side covered with Grar. It's really a little risky because uh, Jim has a ton of uh, Grar. Obviously, the complicated part with Skaven is that you don't move perfectly. They will have a spot to enter. Fucking moving nine is a thing. Interesting that the bride is carrying with the Wrestle uh, Gutter Runner. Oh, here goes Mighty Block Claw. Here's another Pow. Armor breaks. All over the play. Now he can get a 2D hit if he manages to dodge one of the rats. I don't think he's gonna get up the rat in front of the play player. Not an armor break. Oh, another three plus fail. It is uh, time to be careful because. Uh, Jim's team could end parted in half. Brutal push. Could that have been a sharp? Bring it to the side. Nah. Gated. Also not worth investing that many players. And ending with the troll slayer on the side. There you go, putting your safeties first there. Oh, what? What block dies from Jim? Tactical mastery. Controlling the pitch. Positional uh, blitzing here.
Nobody makes a dodge in this game. Now, Jim Cursey, we see that he's uh, letting you know a lot of space at the right uh, side of the pitch. But I think uh, Jim is okay if the Rats decide to score earlier, which I don't think they are going to. Oh, bad blitz there. And so only two rerolls for Bright. So no need for. Uh, no space for greedy rerolls. Oh, glad there. Tempting. Tempting. And the Rats have taken the space. Well, with a good catch, they could stall for a few times. But the problem with stalling with the Rats is that uh, you end up having a lot of players based and getting a lot of hits. Finally, that's the 3 plus dodge, and the FIs, that's very good because that trailer layer needed to be tagged because now Jimmy can base the ball very, very easy. And can base the ball with tackle. Armor break, nice. Anything you can go for Glard to try to get rid of him, or you can go for the guard, the uh, gutter runner, which is a much tighter uh, target right now. Because if you take him out, the only guard that Bright has uh, disappears, it's a gutter runner less. But also glad is the claw. But I will bleach the guard, the gutter, tucker, 75% the knockdown. Oh, he's going for glad. Brave runner stands in front of the rats. GFI works. Three seconds, Jim. Do the GFI. Do the GFI. I'm a big fan of basing uh, other runners just for that dream uh, one in 36 or one in six in case of the well, one in 36 in the roll. So now the rats can go back, retreat, push to score. Pray. like that say that it didn't like that could have moved the other stuff first I know right this in a complicated situation because there are a lot of dwarves that are going to be able to retreat and move back Yes, I mean, with the, against the Skaven, yes, forcing them to score is always really good. If uh, Jim can uh, make them uh, score in uh, turn six and a half, three turns for himself, that's really good. Oh, 
Nice. That could have been a mistake there. Not running a powder, noob. Because now Jim has the guard all over the place. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, for God's sake. Yes, it's the turn. It's the turn for the grid. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. oh flip me, guys. Uh, Jimmy drops the GG. Ah, come on, it's not the GG, but it was that was a really good chance to get the rats in a world of problems there. Oh, very, very unfortunate. How One in nine. Fucking standard was that. Jesus Christ. It's just I fucking hate Blood Bowl, man. I agreed one fucking thing. <laughs> it's a dub skull. And okay, I could have moved people back first, but not not so much because I wanted a GFI to put more pressure on. But yeah, no, no, that was that was that was really really unfortunate. Yeah, I wanted at least push just to get the tackle on the ball. And now that was it, yes. Fucking stupid. Well, it's not the end of the world. I mean, the rats scoring were a very realistic uh, expectation for the first half. Not really, simply since because I'm behind the ball, I want to be in front of the ball, right? Like, no, no, no. I think that was the, the perfect. That that was the, the the for me. What that was the play. Go in there, then you get another two dice with the runner. And uh, then the scavenger and a lot of problem because you have a lot of dwarves that you can make them make them do GFIs to go very very close. Oh, there you go. Up or gone. Now I just have to stay down to not get beaten up more by fucking scaven. I wouldn't have been anywhere near as pissed off as it wasn't as Tony was totally right. Tony was unfortunately totally right. Sorry, no alias, but Tony was completely right. I've just got to look forward to playing Storybook Brawl and forget about the hundred dollars down the drain. <laughs> Woo! Those block dice, those block dice. Ah. Terrible, terrible images. Okay, turn seven. I don't see the rats doing much. Blitz will crack. Probably. From the sideline. Let's see what happens at the two LOS uh, series of hits that team has. I'm not going for it. I will go for the blitz, the long beard, the skillless the long beard. That is there. Blitz there. Two dice. Run away. For the my cloud mighty blow hit. Gets the pow. Is this it? Is tiny going to end on a grave? No. This is 
Blitz with Mighty Blow. Oh, a pow! Those exist in the dice. Is my is uh, Mr. Wright going to for the yes he will try to get three dice. He has a room, so yeah. Excess schools is a don't see that happening. Ooh, pow there. Nothing and scores a one nil for the rats. Sadly, Jimmy had a very good chance that they turned the, 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 the double scores. That was a really, really good chance. I think Mr. Wright uh, did a mistake there. Exposing uh, things like that. Well, a mistake. I mean, say so one minute and you can be a mastermind every single turn. Three LOS hits. Nothing uh, lost by Jimmy here. We're using the up on the first half, it's practically fine. Clearly going for the maximum effect of the, the amount of three dice he can get. Three a riot or something, no help. Yep, okay, now is when it comes the moment that the uh, getting good injury dice are very important. Taking out Two of the rats will be fantastic. It's just that was the most dwarf block I ever seen. Three both down. Dwarf dream. Okay, one out. Mighty blow hit. Nothing. Enter. There is a case to be made maybe for a foul there. Jimmy has 12 players. But without dirty player, I don't know. Ah, it's a rat. KO rat came back. So absolutely no real damage. By anyone. It's unfortunate because in a regular game, two rats should be out. Anti Blitz from the dwarves uh, Skaven just getting a uh, mythic four squares away. So the dwarves have not much to do. And now Jimmy here is uh, setting up in a way to protect against a blitz result given the rats a turn. Which is going to be a blitz or a perfect defense. There you go, well covered there by the sides. 
and I call it. I fucking call it, I fucking knew it. I could smell it in the winds of equity. It's not brutally dicing. I mean, Dave calls up and I feel like that, but they just dead by a thousand cuts here. And so it's not like things have gone massively in favor of uh, Mr. Bright. He's been lucky with uh, some armor breaks, got a random cast. But it's not like you say, oh my god, Claw is killing already kill uh, half of the team's team. It's just these slices of equity here and there. That thing's going a little in, on your way. Now, here is the thing. Bright has set up before to avoid the dwarves getting, uh, being able to do a blitz against one uh, valuable player. Now he set up this way. Oh, good, KO. Set up this way, and now there is a few valuable players exposed. The Mighty Blow Tackle, the Gurusel Lyman, those could get hits. I mean, they are going to get hit. There's going to be a Blitz against something. Oh, going for that Blitz. So I don't think this setup is was helping uh, Mr. Bright to achieve much. Ooh, should Hans do anything? Because the ball, where is the ball and where is the the rats? Like that can enter much. And he got the rats very close to the to the doors. So that's the classic I think. Uh, Perfect defense course when you get perfect defense, and sometimes you end up getting uh, getting things worse for yourself. I mean, not by much, really. but I prefer the other uh, setup, maybe much more defensive. Comes the mighty block, low hit. Nothing. Mighty block, close, a lie. Line man, line rat is where is the power. See here that with the name, the names that Mr. Wright have used. He has invested a lot of time naming his players. Probably less than a minute, turning for blitz speed. We can get a very, very good cage uh, made uh, here. Guard in every in uh, opposite corners. More guard, just in case.
Ah, uh, they're going for the extra hits in case things don't go. Team's way. And things don't go. Team's way. Basing the ball himself, but that's three dies. Oh, three magnificent powers. And that's it. Another rat go. And now the Rans will do another Blitz with Claw Mighty Blow. Position a little. I think the skill is uh, Lyman O, oh, using the Wrestle one for the support. Is the bow, but clenching. Nothing. I will use the skillless uh, line rat for the assist and put the wrestle rat where is the scaler uh, one. Oh, double scores. Into a beautiful pow. Another rat gone. Okay, I'll say that the, now more or less Jim has the pitch in a comfortable situation. Oh, Glar doing the blitz there. There's the pow. And now what? <laughs> Maybe I will go for the blitz to another uh, dwarf. Oh, going for the two dice there. Is the pow? It's going to be able to clean the front line of uh, Jim. What the hell? Horrible things. Yes, if Jimmy loses this one, it's over. Another two in the turn, the three plus dodge from the Wrestle Rat. Oh no, going for the two die there. Wrestle. Now, Wrestle there opens uh, Jim the side of the, the Wrestle Gutter Runner side, which is always nice. Can put a card there and uh, be annoying as fuck. There you go, Jim. Kill the skinks. Kill the fucking skinks. Oh, for God's sake. Seventy-five percent of getting the knockdown. Followed with uh, more than fifty percent of breaking armor. Sad days. Not the end of the world. And now the guard doors 
Argonadu de Lords, yo. Jimmy trying to find him, he forgot that war somewhere. Okay, this is a time where uh, he needs to think of oh, the power there for sad days. Oh, one in nine. Okay, he's the power, but right only has one reroll left. And he can't uh, use it if he wants to have a chance of the one turn. At least he's using it to win the game, obviously. Yeah, Jim has been very unfortunate with all those uh, pushes and all that because, oh, there you go. Finally, Colo did something to turn 12. Because he's been on the back foot of uh, hitting. He could have got an extra hit if he pushed that the uh, door in an angle because now oh here, go, oh here comes the blitz. Classic safe moves first, I love to see it. I would have tried to do a dodge with that uh, guard uh, player. Now it's gonna hit a close mighty blow hit. And you dodge, if you fail, all right. And if you get it, Bright has to do something with that short. Put somewhere someone there. Get the pow. Lucky is lucky enough. Yes. I'm guessing the blitz is coming from Lark onto the Yep. So he can get later another hit. I guess to push is that he's all right. He'll get the two dice hit. How with mighty blow? Oh, there you go, and he has to eat it. Oh, it would be so lovely to see a dead rat there. Yeah. 
Stone 14, still in lots of time for Jimmy. That Russell got the runner, so tempting. So tempting. Gets the pow. Going for the train, train of dwarves. Five seconds, Jimmy. Be fast, be quick. Mighty blow, uh, blow is busy with a guard or very good trade for Jim. Very, very good trade. The large is the pow. Let us forget the large also has Juggernaut. Fucking good uh, star player there. Right, Bright is investing uh, two players to get the claw hit. Double Skull that has to eat. That went well for uh, Jimmy. They're good, very good trade. That's uh, two rats less for the drive, more or less, with three outs. Chain hit here. Oh my god, he's going to serve Clark. Yes, he is. Oh, oh, oh. oh, for God's sake. The Canosar will make Andy Davo. Said a tear of joy. And now one die block. Pow, beautiful. Perfect. I mean, it would be better if the rat was dead, but that was uh, good. And now, yes, Mr. Brad is saying, okay, fuck this shit, I'm out. I'm going to blitz with guard and then run away. He's putting all his eggs on the basket of the one turn. Jimmy guaranteed to have his uh, 11 players. I oh, know he's going for a game. Clone my the I forget that he has that player there. I guess I like uh, Glark too much. Oh, KO. Two KOs there. Only, Jim only needs one to come back. One one. Two rats come back. The two doors uh, come back, and now is the one turn. 
And then extra time. Jimmy is doing the patented the tackle on every square uh, defense against the against Skaven. Fuck is that because he's not used to have eleven players. Yes, <laughs> yes. Sacrificial runner. Oh god. I know this looks shit, right? Just backlining is like moronic, but the thing is he's got glad, so it's so easy for him to get the pushes, isn't it? So I thought, fuck it. Just backline, see what happens. Hope he scores the reroll. Well, yeah. he doesn't have he doesn't have sure hands. So who knows? Who knows him? Yeah, maybe I should have done a normal setup. Bright's good, so it's probably not going to do a lot, you know. Like he's got the, he's got the jugs as well. It makes it super reliable to get the pushes. I don't know exactly what the difference, you know, in success uh, versus one uh, defense or the other. I just I'm a backline person because I'm too lazy. <laughs> yeah. Fair like fuck it. If, it as well, if, if you go it, if you get it, you know, you get it. Yeah, he, he probably will. Ooh, that's helped. Ooh, that's helped a bit. That has helped a bit. Yeah, I shouldn't have put them. I should have put them too. I don't know why I didn't put them, why I didn't put them too away. Fucking terrible. Comes glad. This is only a two, isn't it? I... Yes, he needs a couple of... He gets the push, though. Look a dog. This has got to be a pass, though, hasn't it, in the rain? So it's... it's got to pick yes, up in the rain it. and then pass to catch it in the rain. Pick up, yes. Intercept chance as well. So... It's not an easy uh, one turn. Yeah, there's some dice to be rolled. Like, it's still quite easy. But <laughs> he could fail. <laughs> like, it's just threes, isn't it? It's just three threes, yeah. and then the dodges are threes and stuff. Makes another removal, but should be okay. Yeah, it's not there. Uh... Yeah. Here's the ball. There is the intercept. Oh yeah, there's going to be. You can't stop an intercept chance. So that's that's quite good because that's like quite a good chance of succeeding, isn't it? Because it's a it's a two plus that he can't re-roll if it fails. So nope, there was the six on the pass. Brilliant. Hasn't used a re-roll yet. I don't think it. This doesn't look good. No, it sure doesn't, does it? Woohoo! Oh, a stress. A stress. Hey! Holy moly! Right, 50-50 for a chance. Whee! Hey, there's a chance. Eleven players for both teams coming here. We have a chance. Whoever scores wins. What's going to be?
I expect Bright is going to be with a very aggressive uh, defensive setup. In keeping uh, both runners, probably because having sure hands is going to be more useful than having an extra tackle. Again, protecting versus the Blitz. Which we already have the perfect defense, so now the blitz is the other thing that usually happens in Blood Bowl because that's how it goes. Just yes, simply, as I say, this is the blitz. Now, a change of weather will be nice. Another perfect defense. Well. Well. Oh, that boulder, that boulder. Brian needs to be careful because if he's, he's a touchback and he invests too many players on that side of the pitch, that will be a terrible, terrible mistake which seems more or less to be the case. Oh, very nice scatter for Mr. Wright, I'm not going to lie. That's not the kind of scatter you want to see. Come on, Pau. Now Bright, he, I am correct have not used the Apple, so now everything is an Apple, a power Apple, obviously. Hugging hell, well, there were two rolls there, that's the good thing. Scatter the ball, wise decision. Oh, for God's sake! Yeah, just leave it at the runner then. So they don't get too, too easy to dice with the wrestle. Now, going for the ball, pick up the ball. Easy. Easiest play I've ever seen in my life. I have a 100% success rate guaranteed. Rolling sixes like a two professional. You know, he was very unlucky with the scatters, but can complain when you roll sixes picking up balls and dodging. Mm. Now, Mr. Bright has no rerolls. So he needs to be very, very, very careful here. Oh, I'm ready. Come for thick skull doing a thing. 
Jesus Christ, I think most of the armor breaks from the Skaven have been from the linemen. Those rats are motivated. Lucky dog, going for the 1D there, the madman. I think uh, he didn't realize the, the guard was there or something. Risky play, risky, risky play. I like it, but it's, yes, that's what happens. Still, falling uh, there is not that bad, but I'll, because at least that got the runner is close. Now Jim seems he's gonna get finally some decent uh, hits. Oh, there you go. Wow. Armor on armor break. Armor break will be massive. Okay, just a pow will be massive. Be realistic. Tim could have done a chain if he was uh, moving the bleacher with guard, but doing a chain there, I don't know what he will achieve. But people of chains, yeah, is that? Hundred <coughs> percent dodge with the. Yes, do it, team. Do it. Oh. Oh. So conservative. I mean, now there, that the uh, Troll Slayer does a very good job. And if he fails the dodge, he will leave a side open for the runs to enter. I can see the double skulls coming for the Skaven. I don't think they have done any to get any double skulls over the whole game. And they have been made a lot of blocks. It's happening, lads. It's happening. Also, if anyone uh, wants to watch a video about how to play dwarves, oh, one in nine! It happened! And he can surf! Oh! This game has everything! Okay, not being a cast or anything is absolutely irrelevant because it's a player out of the pitch, which is exactly what you want. I have to say, the people with Mighty Blow in both teams in this game have been absolutely a disappointment. Okay, let's hope Jim rem remembers that the, he's carrying the ball with a guy without block, so... Any red dice could be very problematic. Good. Oh, 
we got the here lads looking all right as i was saying if anyone uh, wants to watch a game about classic escaping versus dwarves this is the most standard uh, dwarves versus escaping that i've seen in a while just with the standard skills both things and both playing the way they are supposed to play another problem with mr bright is he needs to take risks but at the same time he needs to minimize and do them as few as possible Going to blitz probably the, that guard door that is there up the head. Little exposure, but I mean, he's gonna get two dice blitzes. Uh, Mr. Wright was going to two dice blitzes every single time. You can't stop that. Double score! Oh! 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 Oh my god! Happy equity noises! Team, pick the pow. Don't be greedy. Surfing, surfing that the play will be so nice. And it's gonna happen. Insta full uh, surf. Oh, I love to see it. I will pick the power because if you break armor, it's nearly that rat is nearly out of the the game. And also you can blitz another rat. Okay, now the only problem that Jim has is to worry about is the quad skulls. I think that's a very good situation to be in when you're playing blue. That's your biggest uh, risk. Ah, you got the power up. I mean, that was the play, <laughs> the only play, the only possible play. Getting sweet, sweet paws. Basing Lark too. Is looking really, really well. There is a case to for use Gressel there to reduce the movement of that gut runner in three. But I think that is also right. But I will be very tempted to use your Wrestle there because then uh, that uh, Gutter Runner becomes movement 6. And I don't know exactly what can uh, Mr. Bright do here. Dodge with the uh, Gutter Runners. That was the Grown Order. He should have a dodge first with the Wrestle one because he can still use a dodge. Is Jim in range to score? One, five, six, seven. One in 36 to win the game. Okay, now the rat has to must dodge. Oh, that's yeah, Mr. Bright. Yeah, Mr. Bright just ran out of options that he had a that's how important are the rolls, even if you only have one. 
Jimmy's counting. Jimmy's touching himself. Once again, the tactic of Jim of dropping the GG. That's it, that's it, that's it. All safe moves first. Get everybody in position. Oh, look, the mighty blow guy do something, turn 21, so we can pay attention to him. Look at me, that I'm doing things. And this is it, lads. Blue screen, that means he scored. Woo Happy days! Woohoo! There you go! <sighs> Holy moly! <laughs> oof, oof, oof. <laughs> what a roller coaster that was. <laughs> yes, yes. Oof. <laughs> Oh god. Oh, Our arm is yeah. broken. <laughs> oh god. He did he did a lot of blocks. Forty seven oh, blocks each one. Well because in the blocks, yeah. in the extra half you got him dominated. Yeah. Whew. My god. My god. That was a that was How a many dodges? Uh, uh. How many dodges? He made sixty five percent. Yes. You did three dodges. I only tried three. <laughs> I thought about a lot of dodges, but only made three. Oh, well, GG, bright. That was a. Uh... Glorious. And there no, comes the 20 tier one. So, from Noelius, a man of his defend. war. Absolutely legend. <laughs> oh, my God. Glorious. Thank you so much, Noelius. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Glorious. No, and imagine all those bots in. that are getting Until subscriptions for free, how happy they're going to be. And I will defend. <laughs> I will defend. Unbelievable. Thank you so much, Noelius. Absolute legend. Can't all right, it. so this means you have Glorious. to play another game of Blood Bowl no, now, Jim. Yeah, yeah, another Until game of Blood Bowl. All right, all right. And I can, I can keep, uh, keep doing the, comment the commentation here, no problem. Glorious. That was an interesting uh, game of uh, Blood Bowl to watch, I have to say. Glorious. Yeah, it was incredible. No, I, I, I imagine. In. I mean, it was certainly felt Until incredible I'm to play victorious. lots of swings and, di and crucial dice defend. rolls and stuff. I will defend. Yeah, there was the kind of, you know, there was not an absolutely brutal roll, but there were a few here and there that were like no, making things harder. The yeah. two perfect Until defense of Mr. Wright, I think he and made I the wrong defend. decision in both of them. I will defend. Yeah. In the second one, it was the, the ball uh, was so close. It was very yes. greedy, wasn't it? Because no, he was only win. looking for two out of Until it was I'm only good on two out of eight scatters, and basically. And then he got one of the he I got one defend. of those. So it was one in four chance of it being good and it was good. Um As I say the part of defence and uh, as blitz is a uh, can no, be a, a course, you know, because you get too greedy and it's like, oh, what the and fuck I'm doing defend. here, you know, suddenly you are in defend. the first perfect defence he has his rats four squares back. Yeah. And then he changed to have then three squares close, <laughs> like glorious. No, that doesn't achieve much. To be fair, on, the second, on, the, sorry, on, the, on the second on the second defense, there was literally one good defend. scatter square, and that was where I it ended defend. up. Because if it had gone towards me, I could have put in two players and chain, chain surf two players. <laughs> so like it no, was literally it landed in the only I'm one in a good square. And, uh, and I will I, defend. Uh, yeah, I that's will it. Defend. Uh, and, if, and if he was a touchback. It will be like uh, nearly GG because you could have, have all the other no, side all for yourself to cage there, to uh, screen and all that. So, yeah. And I will yeah, defend. So, but, um, I right. will defend. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Thank you so much, Fanny, for the commentary and just unbelievable, Noalias. Unbelievable. Thank Glorious. you. Unbelievable, Noalias. And I want no, to add I that Mr. Wright played well. Yes, uh, yeah. speaking, you know, little uh, things here and, and there, but defend. in general, he played very good this game in play. Yeah, for sure. Right. Stay fantastic.